Hi, I'm Terry, and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. It's this greeting card that has a fun fold. It's a very unusual greeting card because it doesn't open up like a normal card would. It opens up where the fun fold is. Here's what I used to make this card. My Big Shot, my two standard cutting pads, and my Big's Fun Flowers die. For cardstock, I used Whisper White, Chocolate Chip, Baja Breeze, and Pear Pizzazz. And I also used a piece of the Greenhouse Gala Designer Series paper. This Designer Series paper is retiring at the end of June, so if you love the designs in this pack, you'll want to pick it up soon. I use my 1 and 3 8 inch circle punch, my 1 and 1 quarter inch circle punch, and from the Itty Bitty Punch Pack, I have the circle. I used a retiring stamp set, Matchbox Messages. Love the stamp set, it's so pretty. I used my Baja Breeze and Pear Pizzazz markers, my snail adhesive, and my bone folder. I'll be back in a moment and I'll show you how to create the fun fold for the front of this card. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to create the flower for the front of the card. And you know, I'll have the measurements on my blog at the end of the video. You can pop over there and you can, if you want to try this card at home, all the measurements and the supplies will be listed there. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a piece of Pear Pizzazz cardstock. I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to crease it with my bone folder. Then I'm going to bring in my Big Shot and my Fun Flower die. What you want to do is you want to set up your um, cardstock with the fold not covering the entire big flower on the Fun Flowers die. You want to leave just a little piece of the die flower peeking out from the edge. And every time you do this card, you can turn it so that you have your opening at a different spot. I'm going to try it this way this time. So once you have that lined up, you want to hold it firmly in place so it doesn't slip. And the sandwich is the bottom standard cutting pad, your Fun Flowers die, your Pear Pizzazz cardstock with the fold covering one of the flowers, and then the top standard cutting pad and then you want to feed it through your Big Shot. Now I generally, there we go, have to stand up and give it a bump with my hip to get it going. There we go. All right, and then this pops out and there you have your flower with the fold. I would take my bone folder and flatten it down a little bit and then let me bring in my card and I'll show you how I completed it. So I have just a, a plain piece of Baja Breeze cardstock. I adhered the Greenhouse Gala Designer Series paper on it, a strip of Baja Breeze with two of the little circles punched out in chocolate chip and adhered to the strip and then I adhered just the backing of the flower and you can open it up and write a little note inside which would be really cute and then just to add another interesting detail I used my markers to color this image on the matchbox messages circle punched it out using my one and a quarter inch circle punch used my one and three eighths inch circle punch to get a piece of chocolate chip as a layer and then attached the, the message on the front of the flower to complete the card isn't that cute? For a complete listing of the supplies and the in, um, measurements to make this card, please go to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While on my blog, you can place an order for the supplies I use to make this card. You can ask me a question using the Contact Me button in the top navigation bar. You can join my mailing list. 
I have two emails that I send out each month with lots of other project ideas. And while you're on my blog, please feel free to cruise through the past several months of project ideas. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. See you next time. Bye for now.